What's up everyone, Criddle here, and I've been playing Super Mario Wonder for the past couple days, and I'm having an absolute blast. So this is the newest 2D uh, Mario game out there, and it's different though than any previous Mario game in a lot of ways. They actually innovated a lot of new things, and it, it's just fantastic. Um, I, I definitely recommend trying it out. If you like any of the Mario games, if you like side-scrolling platformer games of any sort, this one is definitely one to try out. Uh, so I've been playing it a lot with uh, my family, so we can play it up to four players at the same time. And that's probably the best thing about this game, in my opinion, is that it works a little bit differently than previous Mario games that are four players. So you previously, when you play with four other players or, any, or two other players, you can jump off of each other. And a lot of times we had issues where one player would jump, another one would jump, and they would kind of collide into each other and it would cause a lot of issues. People would fall and, you know, people would just run into enemies and things like that and people get frustrated about it. Um, this time around, they don't have any collision whatsoever between the different characters as you're playing the game. They also have added in the Yoshi characters. So you have four different colors of Yoshi characters and a Nabbit character that don't take any damage from any of the enemies or fire or anything like that. But if you fall into a pit, or if you fall into lava or poison, uh, then you will die and you become a little ghost. But the cool thing is, is that if you're a little ghost, you have five seconds to fly around and get to another player and revive yourself without losing any lives. And in some cases, you actually can maintain your uh, your power-ups if you had any power-ups at that point. And then you also save power-ups that you can use at any time. So if you have you know five different or four different players playing at one time, you can have, I think it's up to three different power-ups at the top that you can actually pull down. And anybody can use them at any point that they want to. So it's really, really nice for the co-op, for family gameplay. Some p players may be better than others, so they may want to play you know the, the main characters while uh, the, the players that are not as good at, you know, platformers can play the Yoshi characters or Nabbit uh, so they can, you know, get hit a little bit more. Uh, also, you can go online and it's kind of a Dark Souls-esque style of online play where you have other characters that you can see moving around within the world that you're playing in. So whatever level you're on, you can see other characters moving around. Uh, so you can do this with up to two players online or two players on your console, and then it'll put another two players up to another two players in your game that are kind of semi-transparent. So you'll still be able to see them, have a little name over their head, but that's the only way you can interact with them other than putting up uh, little emotes and things like that. And you can put down these little things called standees by hitting down and X on your controller. And it puts up a random standee for the character that you are currently playing. And if another player dies or something, they can go to that standee and it acts as if they are getting near your character and reviving it. So you can actually help other players get through levels. You can also just watch the other players and see what they're doing and maybe learn from them and say, oh, they, there must be a secret over there because they're trying to jump through or over this wall or whatever. So it's a really cool aspect of the game that they've never had before in a Mario game. Um, other than that, some of the levels are very, very difficult. There are different uh, star difficulties, I guess. So you have a one star up to a four star difficulty. And some of those four star difficulty levels are actually pretty challenging. I went through a couple of them today to try to beat them. Uh, I also went through a couple of them with my son and we were, we were struggling. We were still able to get through them sometimes as a, as a family. And sometimes I had to do them individually. Um, but it's really nice to see that Mario challenge. I really like that they're getting away from just the standard, you know, move from left to right with a timer on the screen. That's another thing I really love about this game is most levels do not have a timer. You can take as much time as you want to go through the levels, look for secrets, uh, that kind of thing. And it's fantastic. So when you're going through a level, uh, just take your time, enjoy it. And you might come up with something like uh, these flowers, these wonder flowers, which will change the entire level in a, some dynamic way. It could cause, you know, you to fall from the sky. It could cause it to, to be a top-down uh, 2D game, kind of like a, a Zelda-style game, like the original Legend of Zelda. Um, you could have bulls or 
dinosaurs or whatever kite running across the screen. You have to jump on their backs. And, and even in some of these cases, they bust down the flag at the end of the level and they take you beyond the end of the level into this secret area, which is really neat to see uh, and a lot of fun to play. If you finish a level and you don't get everything, Mario you know, has a little question mark over his head and he's looking around like, hey, Level cleared? Maybe? I don't know. Um, and it kind of hints to you, hey, you didn't find everything you could possibly find in this level, so you might want to go back. So each level has uh, anywhere from like one to three of these wonder flowers or wonder seeds that you can get. So each level, I think, has a wonder flower in it. And then that is one of the wonder seeds. Getting to the end is a wonder seed. And then there's sometimes other secret wonder seeds that you can find throughout the levels. Um, there only is a couple of the levels that have the auto side scrolling, which kind of forces you to keep moving. Those are like the uh, uh, ship levels, you know, the, that are at the end, the little mini boss levels that are at the end of some of the worlds. So those are the only ones that I would say kind of force you to keep going, but it still doesn't feel like it's that fast. Um, I really like that. A lot of the mandatory levels in the game are not too difficult, like one or two stars, whereas the other levels, the three stars are kind of saved for the the um, end game or end world levels like the, the the castles and then the four stars are kind of special bonus levels that you can do if you choose to do that so anyway that is my thoughts on mario wonder absolutely fantastic game i'm loving it um other another system that i didn't speak of yet was the badge system it's very neat you unlock different badges as you go through the game and those give you special power-ups that you get through just that level one thing i don't like about that is that when you're playing multiplayer, uh, you can still only choose one badge that all four characters or up to all four characters can use. So you can only do one badge per level period. There is no other option. Uh, it would be kind of nice to be able to say, hey, I'm playing you know, two player, three player, four player, and we can all choose our own badges. But of course, I, I don't know if that would may break the game or make certain things on the game a little bit too easy uh, because of the way some of the badges work. So anyway, that's just uh, probably my only complaint so far, uh, but I'm having an absolute blast with it. My kids are loving it. Uh, the whole family's really getting into it and we're, we're having a really good time. So I hope that helps you decide if you want to play it. Uh, if you want to check us out or maybe you want to play some online games with me, please come over to my Twitch channel. I do stream uh, seven days a week um, and, you know, play games with me and say hello and check out some new games that you may not have heard of. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.